but uh, this sentence comes as uh, a relief to the Scala family. There is now a renewed sense of hope that uh, perhaps in the meantime uh, he will be out soon. Uh, we are primarily happy that uh, a custodial sentence was imposed and our thinking is that uh, this will probably have an effect uh, with respect to the other offense of incitement to commit violence and we are hoping as a family that sooner or later Unare Boskala will be back with his family. I'm sure you can see that his children are happy, the wife is well temporarily relieved. So we are, we, are, we are basically relieved that uh, you know, he has been given a fine in as much as we would have wanted him to be acquitted because we believed that he had not committed any offence at all. The sentence has just been passed by Max Tumare Wanasho Bufa. The effect of the sentence is that uh, he has been uh, given a six months wholly suspended prison term on condition that he pays a fine of American dollars, $600 by the 5th of May 2023 failing which he shall be committed to prison for six months. We have instructions to file an appeal to the High Court. The accused person believes very strongly that uh, he stands a better chance in the High Court. On review, a superior court might arrive at a different decision altogether. Uh, for those who are in court, I think you've seen him. He's in high spirits. He has been participating in the proceedings. Uh, as a lawyer, equally, he contributed substantially to the threat that we have today. He still remains in custody on account of another matter which substantially relates to the same set of facts in Yatsime relating the same more blessing Ali, but the charge is different. It is a charge of incitement to commit public violence. So to answer you in summation, summation after upon payment of this fine, we shall not go home. We are not happy. Everyone is in a state of shock. But the shock is also so revealing about the role of the judiciary in our country. This is clear uh, travesty of justice. It's a clear denial of one's constitutional rights. What is more shocking and so revealing is that uh, the magistrate gives clarity that uh, they abandoned, the police abandoned investigations based on the evidence they had and pursued the statements that was done uh, by Honorable Scala, something that we don't expect because we've always said that the police is professional. Secondly, you hear that the magistrate says that um, he, she is impressed, she is happy about all the evidence from the state. This is a, a, a unique case. And secondly, the same magistrate who's impressed by the evidence from the state is also said she abandons all the evidence, rejects all the evidence from uh, the evidence that has put for Scala, which is so shocking. It shows uh, persecution by prosecution. We reject it as a party. This happens as we're entering into the shadows of an election. Um, elections under unfair conditions where political leaders are persecuted. You know that most of our leaders are in and out of the course for different concocted political charges, which shows and demonstrates beyond any doubt for all those who care to listen that we've got a problem in Zimbabwe, a political problem, a political problem of politically induced judgment, polit politically motivated violence, judgment targeting to those to us dissent. So the constitution has been suspended, the Bill of Rights is suspended under Mr. Mnangako. Thank you.